What's it like to uh, to have a guy like Cam to work with every day? Oh, it's great. Uh, we work out together every day. We compete against each other every day. We just keep on making each other better and better. And I feel like we try to build off of each other's game. And I, I kind of just like try to take things because he's more experienced than me. So it's just really good. I feel like he makes me better every day. Is he any different to you this year as far as the amount that, that he speaks up? Um, you know, I know you have a lot of guys back on defense. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, DCAP is gone. Mm -hmm. um, where, where, is, where, where have you seen uh, Cam's leadership grow? Uh, I've seen his leadership grow on and off the field, it, whether it's in the film room, whether it's in the classroom, whether it's on the field, it doesn't really matter. He just, he's starting to take things in his own hands and kind of like just help us be a better team as a whole in every aspect of it. How, how would you describe that competition you guys are having at the opposite side of the game? Uh, I would say it's, it's intense every day. You know, we just, we just come every day trying to make each other better. We just like, you know, competing. We all gonna make each other better, and at the end of the day, everywhere you go is gonna be competition. Yeah. So, hey, do you you played more than either one? Braxton didn't play at all last time. Mm -hmm. Did Evan play a lot? Do you feel like that gave you some kind of advantage and experience having to you know playing all the games that you played? Yeah, I feel like last year last year really helped me out uh, getting on the field with the experience because now that. I got the experience from last year in spring ball. I just, it's like everything is clicking for me. And uh, everything is not, you know, it feel like everything slowed down. But last year, everything was just so fast to me. But it's just like everything is good. Like, I feel comfortable back there. That's one of the better years the Big Ten's had with receivers. Mm -hmm. You faced a lot of them, you know, Ohio State's guys, Illinois' guys, yeah. Minnesota's guys. What was that? Who was maybe the toughest guy you faced last year? Uh, the toughest guy I faced is probably – Probably Josh Bebe, yeah. for sure, I would think. Was that, I, I know he caught one over here on you, but mm -hmm. is there a difference between covering a smaller, you know, a speed guy and then a guy like that who's 6'3 and, you know, big? Uh, I would say the only difference is uh, just what kind of technique you want to use against the guy. Like, if he's bigger, you want to, you know, you don't want to do too much. You kind of want to motor out on him. Say it's a quick guy, you want to kind of get hands on him, you know, slow him down. Things like that. How do, you, how do you feel like your background as a safety kind of helps you? Uh, I feel like, uh, well, when I was at safety, you know, safety, a leader on the team, you know, he basically runs the defense and everything. So I think being a safety, it kind of helped me, it kind of helped me with the plays, like with playbooks and stuff, kind of like wanting to know everything that's going on for myself, even though I'm at corner, you know, so. Just knowing, like, kind of like the corner and safety position, uh, it just, I think it helps me and it gives me a good advantage. Hey, Miles said he's your roommate. What, do you, what is it like being with a guy that you've kind of been with really for two and a half years, and how did you see him deal with the injury? Uh, yeah, it's, it's great being with him. Uh, we're together basically, every, we're together every day. Uh, you know, he, uh, he's a good guy. Uh, seeing him get injured kind of, you know, kind of made me want to go harder. You know, it was it was kind of like, dang, like in the warm-ups. Like, and I don't know, because he was having such a good year, such a good breakout year, and you just wanted to see him keep on going. So something like that, you know, it's a little setback. But, you know, he coming back, he's going to be better than ever. So he been practicing right now. So everything looks good. How would you describe him as a person? Uh, as a person? Uh, <laughs> I say, I say he a cool, he a cool dude. You know, he got some swags on. You know, he got some drip on him. Uh, he just, I don't know. He a funny dude. He said you're outgoing. I'm outgoing. Yes, is that accurate? I'm outgoing, but if I'm outgoing, he outgoing too. Cause <laughs> we go, <laughs> we go everywhere together. So. Are you taking the guy like Gabe Urban under your wing a little bit? Oh. Oh yeah, uh, Buford right down the street from my high school. So uh, we be hanging out with Gabe. We hang out with him when he first got out here. We still go plays with him now. And he's really grown into a good player right now, early on. So it's something good for him. What was it, uh, what was it like having, I guess it was three, three teammates leave the program when they, right after they joined it last year, Henry and Jaden and then Ronald in the middle of the season. What was that like? Uh, I would say it was just 
it was just like they like they just didn't feel at home here. I would just say that like it just wasn't Florida to them, you know. But I mean, this is Nebraska. It's just things you gotta adjust to. Like I'm from Georgia, but I mean, it's just certain things that you can that you gotta adjust to, that really like helps you out as a player, as a person, everything. Like it's just certain things. What was that for you? Uh, for me, I just when I came out here, I just you know I, I just talked to everybody. Like you know, I'm gonna talk to everybody. It don't matter who you are, what you look like. Like I'm gonna have fun. Like. I'm a funny person, so for me, it was just like, okay, I'm in Nebraska, okay, like, this is where I want to be at, so I'm all in. So basically, I just I just took it from there and kept going. What have you learned about this state that's different from Georgia? Uh, this state, I would, say, I would say that the people here care about you way more than, like, anywhere else. Like, you go down south. People not really, people not as nice to you out here. Like, a stranger not just going to say, hey, how you doing? Like, you know, and just come up and talk to you. Like, it's just different things. It's like, that made me really want to come here. How's the competition with receivers been? Is there any receivers that line up across from you that really get your attention? Uh, yeah, the receivers, uh, they're getting better and better every day. They look pretty good right now. And uh, I would say that. I would say I line up against Oliver a lot. He's a very good receiver. Uh, I line up with Omar. He's a great receiver. Betts. It's, it, and the list goes on and on. Alante. It's a lot of people. So, yeah. Hey, Cam yes, said he's going to play some receiver this year. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you find that? Would you be good at that? Or? Yeah, he'll be good at it. He'll be good at it. Maybe some wildcat quarterback, too? Yeah. You know, athlete. Can he throw? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he can throw the ball. He can throw the ball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anything else for Quentin? Thanks.